So comments are um, basically meant for the user or an individual or human as opposed to the computer that's going to be interpreting the, interpreting the code um, to, you know, to execute the, the um, desired tasks. So these are generally added so that you can have an easier time interpreting your code if you're going to use it later on or um, if you're going to provide code for others to use. So this is all about code documentation. And generally, it's considered good practice to document your code. It just makes it easier to use at a later date or to share with others or whatnot. In Python, whenever you want to, you want to, um, whenever you want to create a comment, you can use the hashtag. Note that you can have a space after the hashtag or, or, or not. It doesn't matter. So hashtag or pound sign and then the comment. Um, so that's a single line comment is just used as a hashtag. If you can also put comments after a line of actual code, and this will just be ignored. So y equals two will still be executed or interpreted, but this following component here will not be. If you want to have multiple lines, a multi line comment, then you can just prefix each one with a hashtag. Another option is you can ha you can use a series of three quotes before and after multi lines. Um, to um, to de designate that as a as a uh, as as a comment, and the, you obviously can't set that comment equal to a variable in that case. So if I run this line of code, you'll see that nothing prints to the console here. Um, so all these comments are again not in, not interpreted; they're effectively skipped. So in short, you should try to comment your code. It's just going to make your life easier and make it easier for other people to make other people to make use of the code that you generate.